Uganda has hosted the second World Kiswahili Language Day celebrations with Premier Lobina Nabanja officiating the ceremony on behalf of President Joel Museveni. Nabanja asked the East African community members to embrace Kiswahili as the only neutral language that can foster development in the region. Swahili is de-tribalized, direct of Africa that anyone can learn and add to their mother tongue. Kiswahili is taught in Uganda in Uganda schools from primary to university level. The language is used to facilitate trade and commerce in the region. Therefore, I call upon the East African community and Africa at large to embrace the use of a Sahiri language. It is a tribalized dialect that can unite us all. The State Minister for Higher Education, Dr. Chrysostom Muyingo, explained how Uganda is developing Kiswahili through cabinet ministers' lessons held weekly. Cabinet ministers start the day with the Swahili lessons. Isn't that wonderful, people? Ugandans are seriously reading. We have got quite a number of Ugandans who are doing PhD well, got PhDs in Swahili. You know, I teach a training institution. Swahili is a must. What do, what do I say? I just want to say that those of you who have not yet caught up, there are many opportunities for you to, to take up Swahili. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of East African Affairs, Edith Mwanje, appealed to members to forget that Swahili's negative history, but rather embracing it to forge a more united region. She disclosed that different programs established by Ugandan government to ensure vigorous growth of Swahili language are in the offing. The Right Honorable uh, Rebecca Kadaga took a, a, a cabinet a memo to cabinet to ensure that Swahili is introduced here very vigorously and is given a lot of support. <laughs> this decision was passed and it, it, there is a lot that has been planned to take place. For example, uh, there is the establishment of the Swahili Council that will coordinate and regulate Swahili activities. This was agreed by cabinet that it will be, it will be established in the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development. According to findings by UNESCO, Kiswahili is expected to play a crucial role in promoting cultural unity in diversity, creating awareness and fostering dialogue among civilizations. Penlop Akamwesiga, UBC. The Ben 